today I'm going to be talking about my pet peeve. My pet peeve is if anyone or myself is late. If I'm late, it ruins my whole entire day. I'm late for the rest of the day. But I also know a ton of people that are late, so that doesn't help. But there's so many things that go into being late. I'm not very good with time, which I will get into later. <laughs> um, my brother helps with the being late and... Just everybody pretty much is always late, but I'm early. <laughs> everybody in my life is pretty much late. I am one of the earliest people I know. I'm early for school, I'm early for work, I'm early to pick up my friends, and then they're not ready, and they say, well, I need to get my shoes on, or I need to get my purse, I need to get dress I need to I don't know they always need to do something and I'm like I told you I'd be here at this time can you like speed up your process here because we have something we have something to do and I like to get done with things I, I don't like to hold on I like to get done I'm one person that just likes to like go get it done we're good move on so I have this one friend and she's always late and I'm the driver with all of my friends though because I got my license first my birthday was first you know so I got my license first between all of our friends. So I'm the most experienced driver, I guess. So I'm the one that really drives the most. But as I said that my brother is part of the reason I'm late. If either he takes my car, I've been late because of that. Or he needs something, I'm late because of that. Because he needs something, but I'm not very good with time, as I will get into. But my brother used to be early constantly he was like up at 5 30 went to the gym got ready for school ready by seven o'clock and he couldn't drive yet so I would drive him to school so he would get up ready and be ready to go at seven o'clock every single morning and I would not get up <laughs> but I'd always make it to school we had to be in class for attendance at 7 40 like that's not bad it's pretty bad, but, like, it's not, like, for being ready at 7 o'clock, that's not bad. So, he wanted to leave the house at, like, 7.15 or earlier because he had to get there to socialize. Because if he didn't, I guess the world would end. I really don't know. I didn't have to be there <laughs> or any earlier than I wanted to be because my friends would always come at, walk in at, like, 7.30 when the bell would ring. And I was like, why do I have to be here so early? But then, as he got into later grades, like, as he was a junior, junior year, yeah, he didn't want to go as early anymore because of everything that was going on. He was talking to me, and he's like, I don't want to go this early anymore, but he has a hard time communicating, so it didn't come off as that. He just started getting ready later. He still went to the gym at 5.30 and he got up at 5.30 and he didn't stop till whatever time his sport was done. So people were amazed by him. I don't know how, but he, we'd make it to school and he'd get draw. I'd drop him off. So he was like, so he could just get into the building. Cause we were always there by the time the bell rang. And I was always ready early. Like he, I was ready at 7.15 versus him who was ready at like it was a miracle if he was ready at 7.25. And there's this line that goes up, and it's full of just, like, cars in the morning. So we had to wait in that every single morning. So there was that part. But the worst part of it all was him definitely, like, telling me that he wasn't going to need me because his friends started driving and all that great stuff. So I got ready in the morning. This was when he was still getting ready early, and I said, are you ready to go? And he said, oh, somebody else is taking me. And I was like, okay. So I just walked out the door, and I went to school. And then Monday morning, he said, come on, hurry up, get ready. We're going to school. And I was like, okay, he's terrible at communication. I don't know if all people are, like that are, like if all siblings are. I don't think most of them are. I th I'd like to think some siblings are great at communication. I just don't have a great sibling at communication. And then this is about the time. My friend told me that she had a birthday party. She's getting her permit. She didn't know how long it takes. She said her birthday party was starting at 1.30. So I was like, okay, like I'll be there at 1.30. So it's literally 
let's say 12 30 an hour before I was I got some sunglasses and I was at Target I had just finished checking out at Target and she texted me that we're congregating now and I was like oh my gosh like I still have to go home get changed I had to put my bathing suit on because she's a pool I had to do all that and still like be able to go to the party it was crazy so I did all that then after that she told me so we got so then I had to pick up my friends so we didn't get there until about 1 15 but still I was there before 1 30 and if I tell you a time and something but like I hate telling people times because then it runs over and it's just it's so aggravating <laughs> but that being late is my number one pet peeve just because I don't like it it, ru it will ruin my whole day it's just something I've always had a problem with. If you're late, that's not a bad thing at all. But I just don't like being late. Thank you.